In these problems, we're working on adding, subtracting, and comparing fractions that have different denominators. And to do all of those things, adding, subtracting, and comparing, you want to make the denominators the same. To do that, you have to know a couple of things. One is how to multiply fractions, and the other is all the different forms of one, the number one, that you can use. Any number over itself is one. So two over two is one. Three over three is one. 453 over 453 is one. I'm gonna use this idea and multiplying fractions to make these denominators the same. I've got one over six and one over five. What I'm going to do is multiply this fraction by five over five, which is one. So I'm not really changing the value of the fraction. I'm just making another version of one sixth. And I'm going to multiply this fraction by six over six. Again, multiplying it by one and making another version of one fifth. The end result is that on the bottom, they'll have the same denominator after I do that. So one sixth times five over five plus one-fifth times six over six. And the trick here is that this denominator it tells me what fraction to use here, and this denominator tells me what fraction to use here. Now when you multiply fractions, you multiply across the top and across the bottom. Five times one is five. Five times six is 30. And same here, one times six is six, and five times six is 30. Aha, so now the denominators are both 30, I can simply add what's on the top. 5 plus 6 is 11, and put that all over the common denominator, and the answer is 11 thirtieths. Let's try this again with another one. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I've got fourths here and fifths here. So this side, I'm going to multiply by 5 over 5, and this side, I'm going to multiply by 4 over 4, using the denominator of the other fraction. You'll notice what that makes happen on the bottom here is I get 5 times 4 and 5 times 4, so my denominators are going to be 20. Let's try this. We'll multiply across the top here. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. Here we have 1 times 4 is 4, and 5 times 4 is 20. So this becomes 15 twentieths minus 4 twentieths. Well, 15 minus 4 is 11, and we put that over the common denominator, and we have 11 twentieths. All right, let's try one more. Here we're being asked to compare. So is 6 thirds greater than, less than, or equal to 3 fourths? Again, you can use the same trick to set the denominators the same. Once the denominators are the same, you can just compare the numbers on the top. So let's try that. 4 over 4, because there's a 4 over here. And this one's a 3, so times 3 over 3. When we do our multiplication, we get 4 times 6 is 24 over 4 times 3 is 12. And then over here, we get 3 times 3 is 9, over 4 times 3 is 12. And so is the question, 24, how does that relate to 9? Well, it's greater than 9, so 24 twelfths is greater than 9 twelfths, so we can put a greater than sign in here. Now, you probably could have gotten that answer a lot quicker, because you might know that if the numerator, the number on the top, is bigger than the denominator, the number on the bottom, then the whole fraction is bigger than 1. So this guy is greater than 1. If the numerator is smaller than the denominator, then the whole fraction is less than 1. So, if this is bigger than 1, this is less than 1, this one had to have been bigger. So that's a little bit of work with adding, subtracting, and comparing fractions that don't start out with common denominators.